What's cracking, Josie Garfunkel? Coming at you with a little tip today. Going over how I make my Walking Dead style zombies for different servers, different styles, whatever you want to do. I'm already midway through this particular build, but I figured it would be a good time to go ahead and demonstrate what I'm doing. And it's pretty quick, it's pretty efficient, doesn't take long. It will take a while. Of course, you are copying and pasting a lot of coordinates back and forth. But go ahead and open up your zombie territories file and get your eyes or vibe up. And I like to shrink them down so I have the same little window. And what I do is as I'm going down through a section, right? I'm already towards the bottom of this one. We'll, we'll demonstrate here at the top of this one. All right, so I'll take the X and the Z, copy it, paste it, find out where it is. All right, cool. What is this, Topple Niki, I think? I'm not sure, I can't fully remember. So now, space that, get you a little isolation. Leave that one the way it is. I like to thin these out a little bit so they're not overwhelming, like little bait balls as they seem to be on Livonia. And then go ahead and spread this one's radius out a little bit. Lower these down to a modest amount. Now, take that one line and control D, duplicate it a bunch of lines. Scroll out a little bit from your eyes or vibe. So this is where your center point was. Now just go around these fields, click, grab it, control C, copy, control V, paste. Click, grab it, control C, copy, control V, paste. And you just keep going around doing this throughout the fields and stuff, the wooded areas. Want to get it all in there, right? Spread it out a little bit. As you can see, I'm running into bubbles from other areas. Not a big deal. You want everything to kind of overlap so it blends when you're done. And then just simply copy your X and your Z's that you've copy and pasted in here over into your new lines. Now the decimals don't so much matter. We're giving them a radius. They're going to wander around. It's not like they're standing in place. But if you get efficient with your pinky, I don't know how to explain that one. It took me a little bit to get used to mouse and keyboard, especially if you're new. But you'll get a little rhythm going. Control C, Control V for copy and paste. And you'll just click back and forth. Copy your chords in. Go through and delete all the garbage that you no longer want inside the file, of course. Your homework, I guess you could call it. But as you can see, that doesn't take too, too long. Now, the example here was one coordinate, which we started with. This one coordinate here, we've spread some territories around. Now, there's other territories within here. We already know this. So as you spread them around, that's where it's going to fill it all out. And you're just making little extra clusters off the top line that you start with. As I'm going down to this next line, I'll separate or isolate the line I'm working with. Again, copying the chord. Here we are. Nope, we're right there. Okay. It says there's 12 to 8. I'm going to lower this down to like 7 to 4 or 3. And go ahead and lower this one's radius so it kind of stays where it was vanilla. Duplicate. And then alter that line. A bunch of times. Do the same thing again. Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V, and you're just spreading extra territories into the mix so your fields and your woods and everything around it had zombies. Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V. You get the idea. We're not going to go through the whole thing again. I'm going to keep working on this. And keep at it. Y'all keep doing what you do. I hope this helps somebody create something new. Show me what you're working with. Tag me in a video. Let me see what you got going on. And uh, we'll see you out there, man. That's all for this one. Hope y'all learned some shit. I'm out.